the best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. Welcome to Unhinge with the Door Dork. Today, we have a very special guest. Kevin Waring, I am now the Director of Business Development for the Yale Commercial Team. Let's jump into the next one if you guys are ready. Right, I like that. That's a, a clear definition of pulling when you're pushing, right? So this was at the Austin International Airport. I forgot the actual name of the airport, but literally hundreds of doors had the same setup. And I'm like, why did they go through and install a pool plate? And it took me forever to figure out the reasoning why. But can you guys figure it out? Well, they need to pull the door shut at some point, right? Are these all delayed egress devices? They are. Yeah, they, they do. They do have like a, the little sensor on them. I don't know if they're delayed egress, but they will probably sound pretty loud when you go out. The, the only thing, obviously, I'd, I'd have to say for when the doors open and they have a lot of wind, they need one way to pull it closed. And that's why it's here. But definitely confusing from looking at it from the, the inside out. Yeah. So that's, that's what I noticed. There's no closers on any of these doors. Like they didn't install a single closer on any of these. And I, as far as I could tell, I couldn't see that if there was like a floor closer or anything like that, it didn't look like it from the threshold. So they're literally just manually pulling all these doors closed instead of letting the closer do its job. Right. Why would you pick that pull? That's a catch point though. Like why wouldn't you pick a closed loop? Yeah. I mean, you definitely can't have something like that sticking out on a, on a, exit right this is an emergency exit like that's going to potentially catch someone as they're running out the door right yeah that's and it's like at eye control. level i mean i know you're tall benji but for the rest of us like that's going to poke somebody right in their eye one other little detail it's really hard the lighting wasn't great because all the sun was coming in on this side um do you guys recognize this keypad over here I can't even tell that that's no, no, a keypad. But it's one of the old scramble pads. You guys remember the ones that <laughs> would change the order of the number um, every yep. time you had to type in your code? And again, there were hundreds of those at this airport. I think this airport needs a remodel. So I, I would think that's a safe bet to say there. I, I walked through the entire airport and almost every single emergency exit had one of these door pulls on it. That has to be a fairly recent addition, though, because... Nobody was really offering that style of door pull to well, three years ago, right? Yeah. I mean, it makes me wonder like maybe they missed a fire inspection or something like that. And like they got creative and they were looking for, or closers fell or something like that. And they're like, well, let's just put a pole on it. Interesting if they had overhead concealed in this too. I can't really tell. And, and the, the track was mortised in. That's true. I, I didn't look up there to see. I often get should have opened the door. Just just push it open. Nothing bad could happen. Airports are one of the places where I do like hesitate taking pictures. You can get banned from like no fly lists and stuff like that. If I see something, I'm still gonna take a picture. I'm just gonna do it kind of discreetly. You know, like do one of these, like walk by. Okay. Any last remarks before we give it a knocking score? I think we need a little bit more information. But not having a closer, is a, if there truly isn't one, is a big problem with this. And, and I would say they want to get that rectified. I, I'd be shocked if they had hundreds of doors like this that had no closers at all. So if it didn't have a closer, I would have to give it up at about a six or a seven. If it's just to pull that door closed during the, the wind there, I'd put this one down at a three or a four. An interesting setup for sure. Yeah, I'm really curious. Maybe they did have overhead concealed closers and like all of them just happened to be failing all at the same time. Maybe they've like reached their life limit. I'm in the seven range because for fire safety, that's a huge catch point. I know it's fairly flush to the door and these are sort of recessed into the opening, but and just a user going through with baggage. I mean, because there's times where you're walking out to the tarmac at some gates like this. So now you're you're bringing all your baggage out and you're getting caught on there. And that's a fairly high pull that you can get hurt on. Closers or not, I think this is not the right pull for this application. I, I'm with you guys. It's not like terrible. Like someone probably wouldn't die if an emergency happened, but like it's a possibility for liability and injury. And I would say like, I always look at these kind of situations and then I look around like the environment and say like, if the worst case scenario did happen, how many people would actually be going out this door and like, what would be the 
the effect of it. And uh, the Austin airport was extremely busy. It's a very big airport for the area. And Austin's just a nice place to go to. And except for when it's 3000 degrees, like it was when I was there. But I was thinking there'd probably be about 100 ish people that'd be exiting out this exit just because it's the closest one. And like if people are crowding up against it as they're running out the door, like something could happen that could get in the way. Not too not too bad, but not great. Okay, ready for the final photo. Let's do it. Yeah. There's a lot with this picture. <laughs> <laughs> I love the exit sign to the left. And then the this door is for emergency only covered up by the chairs. Like a handwritten poster, like you're giving your science project yeah. or something. Does it feel like the exit device is a little high? higher than it should be? I, I can't tell if it's just because of the molding on the door, but. So I'm a tall guy. We went line dancing one of the nights, which was actually a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. And they had a, an all-you-could-eat Austin barbecue buffet set up. And like, it, it was really good food. Like if we were given the food a knock and score, like that's that's going to be prime. But they set it up right in front of this emergency exit. So this is me grabbing some chicken. I'm like, oh, I need to take a picture of this. But oh yeah, I'm, I'm a tall guy and my head was almost touching the ceiling. So it is a very small section of the restaurant. So it might still be compliant, but it was high comparatively. I don't know. There's a lot of other things that are not compliant with this. Was it prepped for another lock at one point in time? It's it's definitely like a residential style right. door. I think it used to have a knob and a deadbolt that was filled in. In in the dark, I was like, is there a deadbolt underneath there? But no, it was prepped for, I think, a knob and a, a deadbolt before. Well, hey, at least they filled it in. They, they get a point for that one. <laughs> I, I'm curious about the tripping hazard down at the bottom, though. Is that a new uh, gasketing that they're putting down there to keep a draft going through or what? I mean, it is. It was very warm. And so maybe that that was them trying to seal the what 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 I love is they have this little bucket of water. So if like a fire did start, you know, at least they've got something to like. And what do you think of that light right there next to all this plywood and like poster board? And like, I feel like that's just asking for a fire to start. It, and it's not that all the extension cords that are draped and strung throughout is hey you need an outlet just plug one in there you go right there you know what this tells me is you probably shouldn't have eaten here because if this is what outside of the kitchen looks like i wonder what inside of the kitchen looks like yeah. now see me i would say the opposite this is absolutely the kind of place that you want to eat in <laughs> you know it's going to be good soul food for sure oh it was it was dense and and rich and it was delicious yeah very good barbecue i would definitely go there again but maybe uh Hopefully they have an in inspection before then. Oh, and this wasn't the only exit like this. They had zero exit signs that were mounted above. I think just because of the height restraints, somehow they got away with this. If it's if there is a fire and there is smoke, you can't see those exit signs anyway. So they might be onto something here. The lower the exit sign, the easier it is to see in a fire. One way to look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I think if there was a fire, this this was all like plywood. Like this was just going to like. <laughs> we were all going to die anyways if there was a fire in there. So that would have been tragic because there was like 150 of us, you know, security professionals. That would have been quite the headline. Although there was only like three or four other like hardware guys there. The rest were like access control and cameras and software and all that jazz, which was cool. But um, they had no idea like, Benji, why are you taking pictures all over the place? Like, well, let me let me tell you a little bit about this. And now some of them are converting to door hardware nerdism. All right. Closing comments before we give this a final knocking score. I think we're ready to rate. Go ahead, Mia. You go first this time. I think it's probably in the seven range. I, th I think it's but certainly not ADA compliant. So I don't know if they are required to have ADA compliance at their exits, but if it's higher than... Or 36? Wow, I need to look that up. Then it might be 35, actually. We might be on the edge here, though. If that's above like a deadbolt prep, Anyway, uh, ADA compliance may be an issue, and then all the various other things we've talked about regarding fire safety. I'd say this is a solid seven. Yeah, so I I'm actually going one higher than you. I'm, I'm going to an eight on this one. If I was trying to get out and I needed to look at that exit device and I saw the glow through the smoke 
and I started pushing on those chairs and the chairs didn't open, I'd be a little frustrated and upset that I wasn't going to the right spot. So that's definitely a tough one. Um, the tripping hazard in front of the door, whatever that is, hopefully it's just a sheet or a, a jacket or something that somebody dropped. And, and that exit device definitely is, is higher than the 35 inches. So I, I've got to put this one up there at a, at a good old eight. Yeah. And, and that's only if you can get to it because the buffet was right in the way. Although yeah. you, could, you could grab a snack on your way out the door. No, I'm, I'm with you. It's probably definitely on the higher end. It's definitely not code compliant in a lot of different ways. Okay. Well, thank you, Kevin, Mia. It's always a pleasure. Thank you for joining us today. Um, yeah, we had some uh, interesting uh, door fails today, some delicious ones as well. Um, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's always a pleasure having you on this show. Uh, join us for the next episode of Unhinge. Our doors are always open, partially because they're unhinged. If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged or you have a picture to submit, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.